Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Jittery J Reacts. Uh, today we have uh, Bill Burr and Norm MacDonald, the homeless guy bit. Now, this, just the opening scene of this looks like a very old picture. Uh, yeah. um, let me get this here. And where are my filters? Not that one. <laughs> this is, oh. If it's not one thing today, it's another, I tell you. So, without further ado, cut out that part and start right about now. And so, without further ado, here is Norm MacDonald, the homeless guy bit with Bill Burr and Norm MacDonald. Uh, I'm trying to be a better person now. You ever try to do that? Oh. <laughs> that looks like a very, very, very old video, just from the quality and the fact that Norm was so young in it. Uh, rest in peace, Norm MacDonald. I give a guy some money out there, a homeless guy in the street, and uh, this is a kind of odd thing. He had a dog with him. You ever see this? He's a homeless guy, but he's got a dog. <laughs> that kind of odd, Derek? I got no home, you know, but he's got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And the dog's really thrilled with this idea, you know. <laughs> dog's going, hey, pal, I can do this by myself very well here, you know. <laughs> like the longest walk in the world you got me on here. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell kind of a... <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> the longest walk in the world. Huh? <laughs> that's, that's cold. That's cold. That's, that's, that's messed up. Norm was, yeah. He was a character too. He's another one that didn't really give. Two shits about anything. He spoke his mind. What the, what the deuce? I'm trying to be, I don't know. Okay, I guess I'm trying to be a better now. person during all of this shit, you know? I am. Do you know I uh, I got this new thing, man? I try to help out homeless people. You know? I used to, you know, sometimes I help them out, sometimes I don't. You know, it's like the mood you're in, how much they freak you out. You know? So, this is what I do. This is how I'm, I, you know, you got to do something because I don't know, people at the top don't seem to be doing anything. I tr Ooh, there's a dig that, uh, yeah, a lot of truth in that statement. People at the top aren't doing shit. Why would they? They got what they wanted. They are where they are. Think about it. Why should they lift a hand? So, this is what I do. This is how I'm, I, you know, you got to do something because, I don't know, people at the top don't seem to be doing anything. I try to bring all my old clothes down to the tent cities to give it to them, hmm. all right? It's a good thing to do, but I got to tell you something. You got to do it during the day, all right? You want to do it during the day. When they're tired from Thunderdome the night before, <laughs> they're coming down from whatever they're on, realizing there's a nail in their shoulder. You want to get them when they're tired. <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, but so true. That's unfortunately. It's, yeah. Down from whatever they're on, Realizing there's a nail in their shoulder. You want to get them when they're tired. You don't go at night. No one's going to see you again. You're going to end up on a fucking spit. I mean, it's you're under an overpass. You never know what can happen, okay? I'm just warning you because they don't make homeless people the way they made them when I was a kid. You know? When I was a kid, a homeless guy was a bum. He was a vagrant. Somebody yeah. down on his luck or whatever, you know, a wino. They didn't have this Shutter Island shit. Right. Going on that they had out there, like people talking to trees. <laughs> you like right there. 
right here having like eggs benedict <laughs> he's like looking through a porthole over your cabbage oh my god that's yeah. messed up i remember i was living in a, a small town in west virginia and uh one of the middle hospitals closed down and they just released everyone anyone who wasn't a dangerous patient was just released nowhere to go no help nothing it was man it's the worst thing you've ever seen most inhumane thing you've ever seen it's just some people gotta get a clue that's all there is to it some people gotta get a clue oh but yeah when I was a kid, you could only be crazy outside for about 15 minutes before a van would pull up. <laughs> and two guys in nurses' outfits would just come walking out. Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> You're making a lot of racket out here, aren't you? <laughs> Why don't you do me a favor? Try this shirt on. And you're like, okay. How come the sleeves are so long? <laughs> oh, because we're going to tie your arms behind your back because you're out of your fucking mind. That's it. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that is just messed up. But, yeah, he, he, he's not lying. I mean. Because you're out of your fucking mind. That's it. They're doing all this shit. Back when I'm not gonna have you out here scaring kids? the shit out of people. Get in the fucking van. <laughs> and you got in the van, and that was it. They sent you yeah. to a nut house. Yeah. That's it. Boom, bam, done. Nut house. But the problem was, was the people at the nut houses started fucking the patients because everybody knows crazy people are great in bed, right? <laughs> so they're banging away, right? <laughs> Everybody knows crazy people are great in bed. Okay, dokey. Ooh. I don't know where he got that one from, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Great in bed, right? So they're banging away, right? Hey, it happened. <laughs> You're groaning history. Yeah. All right? You can shake your heads all you want, all right? But the... It did happen. Hey, hey. They fucked those people. All right? What did he say? And they were banging away. Go back. One, all right, but the... Hey, hey. You're groaning history. All right? You can shake your heads all you want, all right, but the... Hey, hey. <laughs> they fucked those people. All right? And they were banging away doctors with their fucking lab coats, flapping in the wind, just banging away. Oh, my away God. Until finally... <laughs> For decades, finally somebody with a heart came walking in like, hey, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's how a lot of those hospitals got shut down. And where are all the patients going to go? To another hospital is just going to do the same fucking thing? Excuse my language, but I got little patients with... Uh, therapy these days but on another note I get to go in the morning to get assessed for groups which should be better <laughs> and then they shut it down and then they just let all these people go they all came running yeah. out like Mike Myers jumping up on station wagons and shit <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing you go during the day <laughs> and I gotta tell you, when I pull up to one of these ten cities, I always feel good about myself. It's good, man, helping out a fellow American. I would want them to do that for me. It's fucking ridiculous. People have to live like that. That's what I think when I'm in the car. And then the second I get out and that smell hits me, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ, these people are animals, right? <laughs> you got you gotta fight through all that got to fight through that reaction uh, <laughs> I learned how to do that a long time ago I, I can hide just about any reaction 
I had to. Part of life. And that smell hits me. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Jesus Christ, these people are animals, right? I would equate it to the same feeling you probably get if you were on a safari and you're in the Land Rover and you look over and you see like a leopard. You're like, ah, look at that leopard over there. Ah, right? Then all of a sudden you go over a bump and you fall out of the fucking range. Rover. You're like, oh, fuck, that's a leopard. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I pull up and I'm feeling like, you know, fucking Uncle Sam. And then I get out of the car. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I doing? I start walking like this. There's always like some sort of movement going on. Somebody fucking limping across the street or something. Oh, shit. And I've never been able to get close enough to talk really to anybody. You know, like they do on the news. You know, like, Jesus, you've been sitting in here, you know, for a couple of months. What is it like to be inside of this tent? I always wondered how many people they had to choke out before they could get that fucking interview. You know? Just coming in, blow darts, numbing up everybody else, building a perimeter. That's messed up. <laughs> building a perimeter. Gotta stay safe in there. This is wrong. Yeah. So, numbing up everybody else, building a perimeter. So what, what, I, what I do is I get about 30 yards away, and then I, I just start, I start walking like this. And I chicken out. I always chicken out 30 yards away. I just want to go, free shirt! <laughs> back to the car and that's when your brain starts playing tricks on you like i'm convinced somebody just came running out of that tent with like a two by four <laughs> running after me so what i always do is i always do a lap around my car before i get in it you know because homeless people have horrible lateral movement you know from all those years of sleeping on the sidewalk their hips are just junk you know like an nfl running back they gotta slow down like a cruise ship, like go right up and over the horizon. So in that time, you, you go around your car, you get your car, you drive away. You drive away. Your closet's a little more empty. You can go out, you can fill it back up again. With shit you don't fucking need, you know? Yeah. That's, what's, that's what you do. Uh, I, yeah, that must have been a very old one. Uh, I wish there was a video of Bill doing his bit. He is always funnier than when you can see him. Uh, I mean, his, he's hilarious, but he's even better when you can see him. But yeah, that was Bill Burr and Norm MacDonald doing the homeless guy bit. If you liked it, uh, let me know in the comments. Any other suggestions you have for me? Uh, and hit me with a like and subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell so you know when I drop my next video. And if you would, go on over to uh, Bill's channel and hit him with the hit like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, that's just about going to do it for this one. I will see you on the next one.